right, you of course are extremely enthusiastic about this league as I can see. What makes you so excited about it? I'm excited about the big three. Number one, that the kickoff is here in New York at Barclays. Um, the players, Allen Iverson, Chauncey Billups, Kenya Martin, Steven Jackson, and so on and so forth. And of course, Ice Cube, you know, he, he's got the uh, magic touch. He's like Steve Jobs-ish when it comes to his business moves. I think it's a great idea. Um, and I'm just such a fan of basketball, and I think three-on-three -three basketball, for most people, is where it all started. And I think it's going to be physical, I think it's going to be confrontational, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But at the end of the day, this ain't no rec, rec league, this ain't no daddy daycare league. It's going to be very, very competitive, and I think people will notice that right off the top. And one of the interesting thing is, you know, younger kids are going to be able to see these players that they maybe haven't even heard of. They don't know how great they are. Just what does that mean for maybe the evolution of basketball? I mean, I, the one one of the things that's so beautiful about the Big Three tournament is you have Dr. J, you have Rick Barry, you have George Gervin, you have Charles Oakley coaching teams, and then you have Allen Iverson, who, who's sort of one of the biggest, most cross-cultural, beyond basketball stars playing. You know, with other people who you may never have heard of, you may never have seen. Um, and, and the proof is going to be in the pudding. The basketball is going to be competitive. It's going to be physical, and it's going to be at the highest level. And it's going to be it's going to be free because it's three on three. The court will be spread, and you can see guys showcase and do their thing. And and but it ain't it ain't no tricks, no disrespect to any, you know, the Harlem Globetrotters, the great Harlem Globetrotters. These dudes are playing ball. They're coming to win, and it's going to be dope. Is the kind of the fan part of you? Is there? Give me two players you're really excited to see. The two players I'm most excited to see. I think everybody's most excited to see Allen Iverson. Um, then the second most exciting person I, I'm going to look forward to seeing is former New Jersey Net Kenyon Martin. Just because his style of play and just his personality, and you know he's very very competitive. And 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 and, and I think all these guys are competitive. These are all pros. And that doesn't go away. And, and like I said, it's not daddy daycare. These dudes are coming to play. They're coming to bang. And it's going to be physical. All right, and lastly, you're repping your team. i got to ask you, what are your thoughts on the state of the Knicks at the moment? My thought, Long side. My <laughs> thought on the state of the Knicks is I woke up feeling positive. You know, the last time we made a pick of a guy who nobody knew turned out to be a star. I hope, hopefully we'll keep that star, Porzingis. I think Phil, at the end of the day, he knows what he's doing. We've been through a lot. We've had a lot of ups and downs just in the last few weeks. I want to come out on the other side. I want to be positive, and, and I want to get things on track because, you know, this is SNY. It's New York. New York is the mecca of basketball. New York is the mecca. Madison Square Garden is the crowning jewel. It's the only arena left in the NBA that has all its history intact. There's no more Boston Garden. The fabulous forum is gone. They got places like the Smoothie King. The Madison Square Garden deserves to be rocking and it deserves, the fans deserve to see a great product. And we want to win. The fans want to win. And when you hear the scrutiny, you hear it from me, you hear it from the fans. It's all just frustration. And we, we, this is New York, man. This ain't this place and it ain't that place. This is New York City. So. We, we, our standards are high. So uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling optimistic. I need to decompress from all the, uh, the draft talk, all the lack of playoff talk, all the tweeting, and hopefully we come out on the other side. I love it. Thanks so much for your time.